We all have those horror films that really got us interested in the genre. I'm going to go down a list of mine. Let's do it. Hey, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well out there. And today I'm just going to run down a list of about 12 films. These are movies that really got me into horror. I saw these films at a young age. Now, there are excellent movies, classic movies that I'm not going to list here. These are just movies, these are the first horror films that got me into horror. And there might be one or two of them that aren't even my favorite in their respective franchises. These are just films that I saw that really got me into the horror films. So let's start it off. And I'm going to tell, I know I've said this story before, but I was about six or seven when I first saw my first horror film. And I remember it was in October. My, mo my mother was in the kitchen talking to my aunt. I was in the living room all by myself. And they were playing a double feature on a network TV or some channel. It was Halloween 1 and 2 back to back. And I sat there and watched them. Scared the shit out of me. Couldn't sleep for a week. So, it would only be proper to start off the list with number one at Halloween, John Carpenter's absolute classic, and the film that started the slasher craze in the 80s, for better or worse, depending on how you see that, your feelings about slasher films. I love slasher films. I know, I, I love Black Christmas, I know it predates Halloween, but let's be honest, John Carpenter's film is what really kick-started the, the slasher craze in the 80s. So, Halloween is top of my list because it's the first film I've ever seen. And then rightfully so at number two, Halloween two, which is a damn good sequel to the original movie. Um, I always like the aspect that it picks up directly after the first film. Um, the only downfall of the film is that Laurie Strode is pretty much not a factor in the film for most of it until the end. Um, she's laying in a hospital bed and we basically spend more time with this hospital staff that we don't really know. don't really get to know. Um, all that much. I mean, Donald Pleasance, um, Dr. Loomis is great in it. And I, if, again, I love the ending of this film. If they would have stopped making Michael Myers films after this film, that would have been a great send off right there. And, you know, I know Carpenter envisioned the series going differently with Halloween three and hopefully do a different style Halloween film every year. But I you know I'm fine with this. I love Halloween as a franchise. It's my favorite horror franchise. So no complaints here. And the other film, Coming up, my third one is Salem's Lot. Toby Hooper's directed 1979 miniseries, although it was released theatrically in Europe. Now, I did not see this film in 1979. I was just born in 1979. But I did see this not too long after I saw Halloween 1 and 2. And I've always liked this film. It's creepy. It's a really well-done TV horror movie. If you've never seen it, check it out. I prefer this version and the other the remake of it that, was on, that aired on TNT back in the early 2000s, I think. I love Toby Hooper's better than that one. Toby Hooper's one's excellent. And there's some really creepy scenes. I love the way Barlow looks in the film. The kid outside outside the bedroom window scene is creepy as hell. It's just a really good film. Speaking of Toby Hooper, I'm going to say another film by Toby Hooper that I saw early on was Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Absolute classic. To this day is creepy as hell. And just love it. And I saw that early on, scared the shit out of me, and uh, I still watch it to this day. The other next film, John Carpenter's The Thing. What else can be said? Atmosphere off the charts, beautifully shot, special effects. You got Kurt Russell's Kurt Russell and his beard acting their asses off, and a great cast across the board. Just an awesome horror film, one of the best of all time. The next one on the list is 1931's Dracula, starring Bela Lugosi. I... I saw this at a young age. I was sleeping on my grandparents' house. It was a Friday night. And they used to let me stay up late. My grandfather stayed up with me, and we watched this on TV. I don't remember the channel. I don't think TCM was back, around back then. But they used to play Universal's classic horror films on a Friday night. And I, my grandfather stayed up, and we watched this together. And I always have fond memories of that. And this is a film that also helped get me into horror. The next one needs no introduction, really. 1975's Jaws, directed by Steven Spielberg. Absolute classic, one of the best movies of all time in horror or not horror. It doesn't matter. It's still one of the best movies. I would categorize this as one of one of my perfect movies that I consider of all time. I remember my dad would go to the video store and rent this film every 4th of July or right around there. I still watch it this day around that same time of year. And we'd all sit down as a family and watch it. And I, what else can you say? Jaws kicks ass. So, uh, yeah, that's the next one on the list. The next one on the list is Joe Dante's 1981, The Howling. I love The Howling, 
but I like American World War for London better. But I saw The Howling first on network TV or on TV cable or whatever. I can't remember what station it was on. So The Howling gets on the list because I didn't see American World War for London until a little bit later in life. The next one, 1980s, Friday the 13th, directed by Sean Cunningham. I saw this movie on TV as well. It scared the shit out of me. I was young. I was like seven when I saw it. Now, this is not my favorite film in the Friday the 13th franchise. That would go to part four, but I'm going by the movie I saw at a young age that really scared me and got me into horror, and Friday the 13th is it. The next one is Wes Craven's Nightmare on Elm Street. This movie is another film that absolutely terrified me as a kid. I couldn't sleep for for nights and nights on end because of Freddy Krueger, played by Robert Englund. Just a terrific horror film, very imaginative. Wes Craven wrote and directed himself an excellent film. The only little critique, and I'll, I'll do a full review on these some of these movies that I haven't done in, in the future, but the only critique I give Nightmare on Elm Street, the first one, is that damn ending with the mother getting pulled through the door. It looks terrible. Bob Shea, why did you do that to Wes Craven? That was a mistake. You should have left the man alone, but Bob Shea forced that on Wes Craven, and it's in there, unfortunately. The next one's another Toby Hooper directed film. Some would say maybe not, but 1982's Poltergeist. This is another film I saw a lot as a kid. It terrified me, and I know some people say Steven Spielberg really directed it, but Toby Hooper's list as director, so I'm going to give the credit to Toby Hooper. Let me rest in peace. Um, what can I say about Poltergeist between the clown, the stuff with Carol Ann, the guy's face melting off in the bathroom? Terrified me as a kid. And it's a really well done film, and I like Poltergeist, so that's the other one that I saw at a young age. And the next one, the last one on the list, because it can't let's go on forever, but this one I saw early and often as well, is 1984's Gremlins, directed by Joe Dante. Is Gremlins a horror film? You bet your ass it is. It's a creature feature, for Christ's sake. And there's some mean-spirited shit in the first movie. I'm sure in 1984, this was a huge hit. It came out in the summertime. I'm sure parents, when they took their kids to the movie theater to see this film, they weren't expecting some of the shit they got on screen. Now, is it a kid's movie? Yes, an older kid's movie. I wouldn't say young kid's movie. But I I'll, I like this film. I consider it a horror film. It's a creature feature, like, like Tremors or any other creature feature. That's what Gremlins is. Yes, it has some tongue-in-cheekness to it. There's some comedy, but at the end of the day... It's a horror film, folks. Deal with it. Now, I love this film, and it's a classic. I actually prefer the second one more, but that came later. I saw this one first, early and often, so Gremlins is on the list. So those that's my list of 12 films that really got me into horror. I still love horror to this day. Um, what are some of your favorite horror films that got you into the... What are some of the first horror films you remember seeing that really got you interested in the genre? Let me know down below. Leave a comment. I'd really... Love to hear from you. If you do me a favor, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, all that good stuff. And I hope you're all doing well out there. Stay safe, and I will be back soon. Thank you. Bye.